I love the fact that a lot of people are waking up to the idea of investing in themselves and starting a business and just becoming a business entrepreneur. And I think that's an amazing thing for anybody to experience during this lifetime because it helps you build character. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through the steps of starting an LLC, how to go about registering an LLC, checking how to get the EIN number so that you can open up a business account for your LLC. On top of that, we're going to see if you are selecting the right name for your LLC, and if so, is it SEO friendly? And if that's the case, how many searches is it getting on a monthly basis? Let's also go ahead and talk a little about the Google profile that's going to help you get a lot more leads in this video right now. Let's go ahead and handle it, guys. See you there. Paloma, can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, I can. All right, congratulations on your new business venture. It's an exciting time. Also a time of a little stress. And just mixed emotions, but overall, you are in a, tr a whole different trajectory now, right? Because you're going to be your own boss. You can start your own business. So let's dive into the details of mm -hmm. the start, right? When you are considering having an LLC startup business, we're going to dive into it. We're going to cover some of these. Uh, we're going to cover the name availability, the domain, the LLC, uh, the SEO competition, and Google profile. And then at the very end, I want you to just have a, that list of questions for me for things that you're not too sure on. And also I'm okay. going to be this session so that later on you can circle back to the session and you can kind of go over some of the details that I probably just sped through too fast. The reason I'm going to go nice and quickly is like I said, because you'll be able to have this video later and you can circle back to it. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. What um exactly in what, what industry are you going to be diving into? The medical field. Medical field. Okay. Mm -hmm. What service will you be providing in the medical field? Phlebotomy. Phlebotomy. So like blood work. Phlebotomy, phlebotomy. And now this is this is funny. I didn't make it to the spelling bee. I'm gonna try to spell out. Oh, there it is. Google spelled it out. <laughs> phlebotomist. Phlebotomist. Okay. So one thing I I always tell folks that are starting their LLC is try to have a business name that's going to easily rank locally, and then little by little you'll start gaining surrounding cities in your area. But first, try to really get popular within your location, certain radius. And then we're going to jump into the details of that. Now, one of the first things we want to do is we want to make sure that you have a business name in mind and that business name is also SEO friendly, right? So at yes. this moment, I know you think about it before you go to sleep, like what am I going to call my business? Because when I was uh, starting different businesses, that's one thing I always pondered. What are you thinking of naming your business? A mobile phlebotomist care. Yeah, of course, because you're going to be a mobile phlebotomist, right? Uh, a licensed mobile phlebotomist, you're going to be traveling, making money. So mm -hmm. okay, let's check that out. So mobile phlebotomist. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another Google tab here and I'm going to go to Google keyword. Keyword planner. Okay. And once I'm inside Google keyword planner, please let me know if you are able to see my screen here. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Are you able to see my screen? I can see it. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. So we're going to go into Google keyword planner. And once I'm inside Google Keyword Planner, I want to get an idea of what the demand is, what the search traffic is for mobile phlebotomists. So phlebotomists. That, and then we're going to go to get results. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So I want you to use this to your advantage. One, because mm -hmm. it's a pretty cool, and as an entrepreneur, uh, you're definitely going to be coming back and seeing ways that you can really uh, leverage some of these keywords. Now, for example, mobile phlebotomist monthly search anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 searches a month. And the competition wow. right now is very, very low. So what the competition really means, Alondra, is that there's not a lot of people utilizing this keyword right now, which means that if you start using it in your hashtag, you start using it in your titles, you start using it as a business name, uh, even a domain, you're going to easily become uh, the high ranking individual for this particular keyword and you can make the keyword a little longer as well right now it's only two words mm -hmm. right down here just for phlebotomist average monthly searches we're looking at a hundred thousand to one million searches a month competition is also low so you're diving into a business right now that is yours for the taking because the competition is low for these key uh, these keywords that are getting lots and lots of traffic so congratulations you're diving into a field that I feel you're going to be uh, ranking quickly if you follow some of these steps, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's that. And so we're going to go into that. That was that for the uh, – so now name available. 
that's one thing we want to do because if we get our hopes up and we're saying, I'm going to name my business that, but when you go to register your business, that name is already taken, you're going to be bummed out. So let's go ahead and see and check LLC name check. Let's see if someone already has that name. So for that, I'm going to go to biz file online and I'm going to enter the name right here. Now I'm just going to share how this works. I have a business and my business is called Canary Capital Ventures. And that's one of my businesses. I'm going to go ahead and hit search. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So it shows that it's registered and it shows my first name, last name right here. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect tool to use because you will be launching an LLC. Now I did another one for my client. Uh, it started off at FP Automotive, I think it was. Let me see if it shows. Yeah, it's right now. Okay, I think you spelled it wrong. Auto. How do you spell automotive? Auto. Motive, like. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, so it shows Felipe Pantoja and then another guy named by Frank. Uh, so yeah, that's how it's gonna work. Now, do you have a name already in mind for your LLC? I I know you said mobile phlebotomist, and that's great but do you want to narrow it down a little bit more? Yes. So I'm going to add care to the end. Okay. Mobile flow bottom mist care, which sounds really professional, mm -hmm. really corporate. So let's go ahead and hit search. No results were found. Okay. So when it comes to registering your LLC with the secretary of state of here in California, man, I sound really, 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 really professional right now. You uh, do. Mobile phlebotomist care is available here in California. So you can register for that today if you wanted to. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab this entire name here and I'm going to copy it. And next thing we're going to do is this. We're going to see if the domain is available because we want everything to match across the board. So the algorithm picks you up and, and indexes you much, much faster. And this is really going to help with your business acceleration when it comes to ranking for certain keywords. So mobile phlebotomist care. We're going to go into a place called, um, I believe it's called Name Checker. Here. Name Checker. I, think, I believe it's this one. Yeah. Okay. We'll try this one first here. So uh, this is going to check this specific handle across different social media platforms. So I'm going to go ahead and hit check right okay. here. Mobile Phlebotomist Care. And it's going to show me, hey, this name is available. No one's using it on YouTube. No one's using it on uh, different websites. So. Um, this is, see, this is not the, this isn't the specific one that I'm talking about. The layout's completely different. So I believe it's this one here. But yeah, this is the one right here. It's called name checker with the R at the end. And like I said, you'll circle back to this video to get this information. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and look. And we're going to see where it's available. Okay. Right away, we know it's not available on Facebook and Facebook is really powerful when it comes to using this platform to promote market and just overall get exposure for your business. It's not mm -hmm. available on Facebook. It's available for <laughs> cash app. Let's see some of the important ones here. It's important. Okay. It's available for YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. What about Instagram? Instagram load more. It's not showing Instagram on this one here. Uh, well, we can check that though right now. Maybe we can find one that shows Instagram. It'd be cool if there's another one too that checks with TikTok as well. So all the green ones are available, even Pinterest. So that, that's a popular one. However, Facebook is not. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that does suck, right? So mobile phlebotomist care doesn't, doesn't uh, is not available for Facebook. But what if we add services just like that? Or even, did you have a second name on hand? Miss Mobile Phlebotomist. Miss Mobile Phlebotomist. That's pretty catchy as well. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay. So it's still not available on Facebook. Dot com. Oh. Yeah, dot com is available. Now, remember this. It doesn't necessarily have to be available on Facebook as long as you can get it matching on most social media. Like, for example, both of those names are available on YouTube. And YouTube is extremely powerful. Because if you share your journey with everyone on how you became an entrepreneur as a flow bottomist and start posting reels and shorts on YouTube... You're going to start mm -hmm. ranking. And then another thing, when you start building your website and you put your website inside of YouTube, YouTube is going to act as a backlink, as a citation, and that's going to be very beneficial for your website. So this is how you would uh, go about checking the name on social media using some of those platforms I just shared with you, right? The next step would be 
okay, now that I have my LLC, I need to get my EIN so that I can go to my nearest local bank and start a business account for my business, right? But you will need to do that. And the way you do that is you go to, um, see, EIN for business, like that. And you're gonna go through the IRS right here, mm -hmm. apply for employer. And then you're gonna apply online now. And you're gonna begin your application. The application process is really easy. You're gonna be going in as a limited liable a liability company, an LLC, right? And then you want yeah. to continue. Uh, and then it says you have chosen limited liable company, what it is, what it's not. So you just read the fine print there. Uh, LLC is really good for the type of business you're, you're going to be having. Uh, how many members in your LLC? I don't know how many members are starting off with your LLC. I'm assuming you're going to be a uh, one member LLC in the very beginning, right? You're really starting. Yes. This. Okay. So you would put one. Uh, and then here, you put, of course, what city and state, I'm sorry, what state you're in, and then continue. And then it's going to put started a new business or for banking purposes, I will go to started a new business right here. Okay, so right here, you're going to put in your, your all of your information. I don't want to put my information. You're going to have to put your social security because you're tied to your business in a way. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to spit out an ITIN. And that's the number you have to keep. So you have to go through this step, right? You're going to put the address, the details, and then you get your email confirmation. I'm sorry, your EIN confirmation. So we're at step two. You still need three, four, and five. And believe me when I say you can get this done in five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So I've done it for other, other uh, clients and this does not take long at all. So that's that part. Now, SEO competition. Okay. So for example, say you are located in, uh, what city are you located in? West Covina. West Covina. So I'm going to grab this, right? And now I'm going to go to Google and type in mobile phlebotomist care just to see who has this title and who's ranking for this title right now. And at the very top right here, I have these folks right here. And most likely this is going to be uh, probably checking in my location, like in my area. But I'm going to type in West Covina like that okay and this is going to be the west covina area yep west covina area so these right here on these are the top three people that are ranking for this long tail keyword mobile phlebotomist care west covina if someone actually typed this in chances are you'll be at the very top but this person this person and this person are these businesses right here and look at this individual, American Mobile Phlebotomy Service. They only have one review with one star and they still made it to the top three. This is what I mean by you're going into an industry that is going to be very, that's going to be very easy for you to rank in. And it's not going to take too much effort and hard work. So you can focus on other aspects of your business. Sometimes I have mm -hmm. clients that are in a very high competitive uh, business and very and locally as well. So it makes it even more difficult. But there's, of course, there's tools and things that you can use to start ranking at the very, very top. I'm very confident that once you start your Google business profile and you, you know, we do like another meeting and we go over the specifics on what to include in your Google profile to make it nice and wholesome, you're going to have a very beautiful post right here, a very a good listing, a Google listing for your business. Now, let me see if I can use one of these as a good example and one of them as a bad example. Now, I don't know any of these, but um, these two right here, they're doing a decent job. They're collecting good amount of reviews. One of them has an actual website. Uh, we're not too worried about the website. When you start creating your Google profile, this it's absolutely free. It's most likely going to ask you. Um, so by the way, Alondra, just looking at this one right here, this is actually a vocational school. So they're not really a competitor. Phlebotomy mm -hmm. training yeah. specialist, which is, like I said, even better for you because you're not going to be training other people. You're going to be actually driving out and you're going to have your list of clients. So don't even worry about these people, uh, these folks right here at the top. Uh, let's go ahead and just click on this one. You know, these this one's the closest to you. So let's look at their listing right here. So GMB categories, occupational health service, service establishment. You can type as many as you want, but right now they're ranking for occupational health service, which is probably something you're going to be doing too, but most likely you can also go into mobile health service. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. They have, let's see, do they have any photos? Uh, they have one photo and 
that is it. Okay. Mm, well, no, well, it's three if you really want to be really uh, analytical and critical. Yeah. Photos. So my my uh my advice to you, and we're not really gonna dive deep into this part yet because you're, I want you to go step by step. Um, is always post a couple of photos every single week, whether it's photos or videos. Uh, that's gonna be very important. It's also important that you put in an address that's in your city. It doesn't necessarily have to be your address. It could be someone else's address. As long as that other person's address is a, a person that can receive mail from Google in case you need to verify that address. Put a phone number, put your hours, make sure you have a nice healthy description. And then when it goes to web results, you should have services and products available. It, it just, this, this person right here, really, I don't know if they gave up on their Google profile, but uh, this is uh, an example of maybe someone got started and it didn't see it through, okay? Uh, you don't want your website to, to look like that. Now, let's go into fast mobile phlebotomy, which seems like they're probably gonna be uh, one of the folks that's pretty popular in your area. See how they put home health care service? Mm -hmm. So that's another category that you can start ranking for. Now, these categories that I'm showing you, these are the categories that you wanna start using hashtags on when you post videos and you post reels and shorts. You wanna rank for these words, but first you wanna uh, rank for mobile phlebotomist uh, West Covina. Of course, you're going to put the word care in there if you want, but mobile phlebotomist in West Covina. They're doing really good. They got 31 reviews. It looks like they are posting some photos, not very attractive photos, my opinion. So mm -hmm. you can always post more attractive photos, okay? Um, and they are serving areas here in the greater Los Angeles. They're open 24 hours. They put a phone number in there. Let's see. Let's go to the reviews. Let's go over review, reviews. Let's see. Um, thank you so much. Sal did an amazing job. He came into our home and drew blood. Okay, so this is a good review because it says he came to our home, which is home, and then drew mm -hmm. blood. So Google, the algorithm picks up that, picks this up, picks up home and drew blood. And it ties it into the phlebotomy industry, the business and your Google profile. So when someone leaves you a review, make sure they use some of those keywords. They use the word, uh, you know, drew blood, blood samples, phlebotomist, mobile, came to me, uh, you know, things like that. Um, have the word blood in there, of course, right? So yeah, these folks are doing a really good job and I want you to kind of emulate this, but also add your own spin to it and, and uh, add your own level of creativity to it. That way you can be ranking right here on the very top. And then let's see, as far as websites go, there's no websites really that are ranking besides this one right here. Yelp, I don't count. As a competitor job list, I don't count. Indeed, I don't count. So once you have your website, you want your website to be on the very first page of Google. And let's see, let's just, just check this person out here that because this, this website right here is at the very uh, first page of Google. And I wanna see exactly. Um, so it looks professional and clean so far, right? This is actually a nice picture. I mm -hmm. like it. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and show some of their services, mobile phlebotomy services. So all this information that they put in, they probably put in uh, three sentences. Uh, I'm going to show you a ways that you can actually triple the amount of information you're putting in here that's going to help you because it's co considered richer content when you include more information within your website. Right here, they just they kind of breeze through it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then they also, they also show their, it's their nationwide company. And maybe you can become nationwide as well with time. I think that that's the way to go. So company news, testimonies, it's a decent website. But one thing I always check for websites is this. I go to, for example, here, and I type in minus site, minus site. And then I'll go ahead and grab this information and I'll copy it to the very end right here. And I want to see how many citations they have. So they have 641 citations. This means they're pretty reputable and they have a lot of backlinks. So they have 641 citations. Now, if you were taking on them for specific words, for example, like on-site healthcare, mm -hmm. it would be difficult to beat them and get on to first place because they have 600, 641 citations. Um, I can show you how to get citations, but right now we're not worried about ranking for this. We want to start ranking locally. And once you start ranking locally, what's going to happen is you're going to network. You're going to be talking to businesses. You're going to be talking to doctors, nurses, uh, LVNs, and everyone in the industry. And you're going to start getting uh, 
new contacts and then you're gonna start growing and that's just that's just the, the way business works so right now just try to focus on ranking locally and then start mm -hmm. expanding from there so let me go ahead and uh, see if we finish so google profile so we talked a little bit about the google profile uh and the seo so seo competition and this is what i mean use uh, google keyword to check out seo how much activity there is this this way you can start ranking uh, quickly when it comes to seo now there's other tools i'm going to be showing you but i want to i want you to take it step by step so you don't jump the gun and then hit, have, have to hit, hit reverse and then you lose momentum right mm -hmm. so we've been on this call for 23 minutes and it's just been me talking and talking trying to pour out as much as i can uh what questions right now are popping up in your mind that you want to go over so i'm thinking like what is the average somebody spends to start a business so on average, it, it just depends, right? Because it depends, okay, am I going to need- Like something? the LLC, the website. Yeah. So here in California, uh, the LLC renewal, the annual renewal fee for the LLC is $800 here in California. And that's every annual, every year. So no matter how much money you lost, no matter how much money you made, the Secretary of State will collect their $800. That's the annual fee. So you want to consider that as a cost. Uh, mm -hmm. Everything else that we talked about, um, is very inexpensive. Now we talked about a domain, right? A domain mm -hmm. is gonna cost you around anywhere from seven dollars to like fourteen dollars when you get your domain. Now, so if we buy a domain, if we go on right now and you buy a domain, you can buy a domain with Google through your Google account. Let's see here. Okay. Search. Oh, that's not it. Uh, mobile. I can't, see, I can't see your screen no more. Oh, okay, thanks for letting me know. I forgot. Let me see. Zoom. Share my screen. Okay, mobile. Now you can see it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Do we go with mobile phlebotomy or mobile phlebotomist? Mm, phlebotomist. I wonder if we go with mobile phlebotomy care. You didn't think of that, right? The bottom is, is more of a, like, it's a person. Mm, okay, okay. Okay. Like, for the bottom is, like, what's the name of, like, Because if we do actually mobile, do? Got it. If you do mobile phlebotomy, that means that it's phlebotomy service that's mobile. That means they come to you. So mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't hurt to check to see how that is also doing on Google Keyword Planner or how it's doing on social media if it's available. So I'm going to find your place online, choose from 100. Let's see if, let's see if um, this is available here to buy. Yeah. So mobile phlebotomist care is available .com, .net. I would stick to either .com or .net and you're only paying $12 a year. So that's another thing that you want to factor in as far as your cost goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to register for an EIN is absolutely free to register your LLC. That's around eight hundred dollars to buy your domain. You're looking around. You're looking at around twelve dollars, and a lot of work. A lot of work in building your platforms, your social media. You know, start yeah. using um, start using artificial intelligence to come up with some of the information to put in your media, so you can just copy and paste, and you just breeze through that. Once you've done some of these things and you actually started your Google profile, let's meet again because I want to take a look at your Google profile and also go over some new questions that you might have. Uh, so go ahead and hit me with your next question because you said how much more or less does it cost to start a business? And it's uh, it really boils down to the industry that you're going into. For you, I know you had costs for your intuition, maybe some books. I know that that's already factored in. You had to pay for mm -hmm. that stuff. But now is, okay, now for the business, right? To start a, a business checking account, you're probably going to spend around $12 a month once you start your business checking account. Um, what else is going to cost you money? I mean, your gas, I'm sure you already have a car. So, you know, factoring your gas for your car, as far as syringes and all the medical kits, I don't know. I'm not in that industry, so I don't have an idea of how much that's going to cost. However, when you open up your LLC banking account, most of the time the representative is going to ask you, would you like to apply for a business credit card? And at that moment say yes, because if mm -hmm. you can get approved right there and right, right there and then for a business credit card, even if it's like a $2,000 credit limit, it's mm -hmm. great because now at that moment, you can go and leave the bank, right? And when the card comes in, you can go buy, say, for example, bandages, or you can go put gas in your car. 
and that's a business expense. And now you can put that on your credit card and then go back home and pay that off and start building credit for your business really quick so that in, in a few months from now, you can qualify for a $20,000 or $50,000 loan for your business. Oh, wow. Take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. and use your business credit card as much as possible for the business, but make sure you stay on top of your payments and so don't accumulate too much debt. Uh, do, yeah. you have, do you have uh, any other questions? Um, No, I think you answered most of them. Okay, sweet. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and convert this video. I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Like I said, so you can circle back and watch it. Now, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's up to you if you want to share this video with the public who's interested in starting their LLC, but probably don't have some of these guide, guidelines that we, uh, that we covered today. Do you want to make this public and share it with the rest of the world? You're like, sure. sure. Only if they're not trying to be a phlebotomist like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here's the information. I would say go ahead and get started. Maybe lock in that URL, um, uh, that domain with the, with the URL, Mobile Phlebotomist Care. And also, what, what can you do today? You can also apply for the EIN today. Uh, and once you do all that, you can actually even start working on your Google profile. I'm going to show you how to do that really fast before we get off. Well, I had to purchase my LLC, right? No. So uh, when people start their businesses, not everyone does an LLC. Other people do a sole proprietor. But because you're going into a business where you're going to be dealing with people's blood, definitely get an LLC. Uh, it, it's, it's going to offer you more coverage. Uh, and so, yeah, get an LLC. However, if you want to start your Google profile tonight, you don't need any of that. All you really need is an address and a contact phone number. And later on, you can start adding photos. Now, the way you do that is once you're on Google here, search engine, you're going to go to these tabs. Can you still see my screen? Yeah, I can. You're going to go to these tabs and go to business. And that's where you're going to start your Google business profile. Okay. 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 I'll, let, I'll go ahead and notify you once the, the video is up. Uh, on YouTube so you can go in there and then go over some of the details we discussed today. Sounds good? Yeah, thank you. All right, great. Enjoy the rest of your day and good luck.